horrible. I can't do it. Welcome in on a Tuesday. I got to tell you, that one doesn't get old for me. There's just something about the interplay between Jamie and Stoney and the insults Roberto's firing away, and it just works. Um, what I'm going to start with could be considered high risk. Um, it could absolutely bomb. This could be the worst topic I've ever brought to the air, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's interesting. I guess we'll find out if I'm right or wrong soon enough. Um, we're going to get into the, the well, $14 million question. What exactly do you pay Le'Veon Bell? I think it's a fascinating discussion, and it's very similar to something Jimmy Graham tried to do a couple years ago. We'll get into that. Um, I think Stan Van Gundy is a crazy person. I will explain. Um, we certainly have to get into the Dave Burkett piece today. Ten Lions takeaways from the Combine. We'll do that. Um, also, and I'm, I'm excited to do this. We have a nutcracker question regarding Izzo and Beeline. And I, and I want to do it at 3 o'clock. But what I want to start with, I, I need you to just give me a chance on this. And I'm going to try to relate something that clearly people don't care about into an overriding general theme. Like I said, if I don't do this right, it's going to bomb. So work with your boy Mikey here. Here we go. Last night, uh, Sully's Golden Grizzlies played in the Horizon League tournament, a game that was televised. Uh, you could watch it locally on TV20. You could watch it nationally on, I believe it was ESPNU I was on. Um, now, the game was trash. I mean, the game was awful. Uh, I think it was 44-43 final. Um, it was an embarrassment to basketball. But what was disturbing to me was turning it on and expecting a small crowd and then seeing that expectation shattered by no crowd at all it sounded and felt and looked like it was a scrimmage it was pathetic now I know people don't care about horizon league basketball okay and I know Greg Campy has come out and complained uh about the fan support well here's what I'd complain about Greg you have no concept of how to run a half-court offense stop with the hero ball and the isolation and actually draw something up for me please I digress I know he had a ton of injuries this year. Very nice man. But that's embarrassing to watch. The point I'm making is this. We're going to lose this tournament three years after getting it. I don't believe this tournament's going to be back. And I know. Everyone's going to roll their eyes and go, well, who cares, Mike? Work with me. Everyone tells me I'm too hard on basketball fans here, that this is a better basketball city. Um, and I've been too hard on the new arena as it pertains to what it's been sold as. I think what you're seeing, and, and the Horizon League tournament is a microcosm of the macro problem. Everyone told me that basketball was a city game and that if the Pistons move downtown, their attendance will be okay, and it hasn't been. And the team's not very good, but remember, it's the first year of the arena, it's downtown, and this is a city on the comeback trail, allegedly. The Horizon League tournament is a microcosm of the problem. You're not getting anyone down there. $15 tickets doesn't matter. A Monday night where nothing else is going on doesn't matter. Oakland University is the local team, along with University of Detroit, doesn't matter. If there were 2,000 people at that arena, call me Diana Ross. You're going to lose the you're going to lose the tournament. I, if I had to guess, I'd say they're losing a ton of money hosting this thing. Here's what I conclude, and maybe I'm nuts, okay? But something my old radio partner Terry said back in 2004 that resonates still to this day. But I want to expand it. Terry always used to say this is not a college basketball town. I think you got to expand it to this is not a basketball town. You have small conference basketball here in a conference tournament format, and they may as well tarp the entire arena, save for the benches and friends and family. Nobody wants to go downtown to watch basketball. Professionally, unless the Pistons are competing for a championship, 
nobody wants to go town town to watch basketball. This arena is not going to bring anyone downtown because here's the overriding theme. And I'll throw the number out, 248-539-9797. I still think, by and large, people don't want to go to downtown Detroit. They don't want to go down to Detroit to watch sports that are anything less than championship caliber. It's a pain in the ass to go to this new arena. You know, if you're an Oakland alum, if you're a fan, look, Oakland plays their home games where? It's not Wayne County. It's up in Rochester. UDM and Oakland, when you're going to play games downtown, there's no fan support. People don't want to go to this arena. They don't want to go to downtown Detroit. I don't think the Horizon League tournament will be back next year. I think it, I think they'll opt out and be gone. And look, last year when I made fun of the attendance and a lot of people got upset and we got calls at the station from people involved, you know, it was, oh, well, it's, it's Joe Lewis. Okay. Well, here's the LCA. Look, I, I, I've said this for a long time. I believe this is a really good sports town. It's part of the reason I've stayed this long. And we have things that other places don't have. But the one non-negotiable is, I've always believed, this is a terrible basketball city. There are small conference tournaments all over the country that draw better. I mean, here's Cy Ren. I mean, I went to the MAC tournament before. Whee! Um, you know, and I'm talking about my MAC on the East Coast. Like, you watch those games, and even if Siena's not in it, the Times Union Arena, they got a nice crowd there. That was embarrassing last night. It really was. And the Pistons, look, on a professional level, new arena, the Pistons are basically giving away tickets. I mean, they, they can't get people there. Lord knows what they're doing now in the month of March. Back in January, they were waiving all fees. I just think we have to come to grips with something, that it's not just a bad college basketball area. This is a terrible basketball area. Nobody's going to this arena to watch hoops, professionally or collegiately. Now, you want to show me the NCAA tournament? Hey, you can say whatever you want, but that'll be filled up at any venue they put in, short of, like, early game in Boise, Idaho. That's the NCAA tournament. That's an event that you cannot miss. You know what the Horizon League's going to do? They're going to leave, and they're going to go to Dayton. Or they'll go to Indianapolis. And they'll have way better crowds than this. Because people in those states, Ohio specifically, Southern Ohio, all of Indiana, they care about basketball. They do. We don't. Are, as a Detroiter, are you willing to say that? That even though this is one of the better sports towns in the country, we are one of the single worst basketball towns in America. And whether it's talking about it on the air or putting butts in the seats in the buildings, we're terrible. I mean, look, for years, years, the Warriors were bad. They sold out their arena. For years, the Kings were bad. They sold out their arena. Like, there are basketball towns that are just, for whatever reason, fervent. They're big. What I saw last night with the Oakland game, that, that, that was beyond embarrassing. Again, I hey, I get it. Monday night, I don't care how expensive the tickets are. I'm not going downtown to watch Oakland versus uh, Cleveland State. By the way, who the hell knew Dennis Felton was still coaching? Raise your hand. I can't. I thought he'd been done since Georgia. I didn't realize he was an assistant at Tulsa. Now he got a, another gig. Only be a matter of time before Cleveland State's on probation. Uh, but bottom line is, I really think that a... You know, you're starting to see that this this arena is not going to fix anything. Uh, this isn't going to get people to flock downtown to see a building. And when it relates to basketball, I really don't think it's going to do anything. They'll have some nice crowds for the NCAA tournament. I think there's a very good shot, obviously, that one, maybe both of our teams will play locally. And if that's the case, that's not impressive to me. Impressive is when there's no local team there and, and, and you have – you know, a tournament, you know, or you have a random night in the NBA, that's when I want to see what do you got. I just, you know what, 
it is what it is, man. Like, Indianapolis, good basketball town. Detroit, bad basketball town. It's on the heels of discussing just how irrelevant the Pistons are. But college basketball is irrelevant, too. And I feel, look, I feel bad for Oakland. I feel bad for U of D. It's the conference tournament. You can't even get 1,000 people out there. You know, Oakland's not a, it's not Rice or Wake Forest and you have 3,000 students. Oakland's got 25,000 students. You know, to get four, five, six thousand people in an arena is not that big of a deal. And mind you, this is probably the only chance a lot of people would have to go to LCA, get good lower bowl seats, 15 bucks. They didn't have a human being in the building. I think that's a mark on our town. And I also think it's proof positive for the people that thought bringing basketball downtown. How many times did you hear the phrase, basketball's a city game? You could have had a parade in that arena and nobody would have noticed because there was nobody there. 248-539-9797. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. You know, as to whether it's more than just we're not a, a, a college basketball town. We're not a basketball town. Everyone hates sea crabgrass in the summer, but the thing.